why do Once we need it? Once they pour the concrete floor, the fundament, it's not possible to change the locations anymore. I know when I make a mistake now, I will have to live with it forever. How to build a dream house in Costa Rica. What are the do's? This is our treatment plan. I love it. I love it. I'm totally convinced. And what the don'ts? We did a mistake. This is the mistake we did because we were too slow. What is very different when you build in the problem? Wow, that's rain. And to make sure we don't get bored, we're building two dream houses at the same time. We've been filming each other almost daily for the past 15 months. The production of the roof is the coolest thing I ever saw. Which progress now? The biggest adventure of our life. Before the foundation is poured in concrete, Esther checks again if what we planned made really sense. Or as we say, better safe than sorry. I think they're pouring the floor on Monday. Uh -huh. And before they do that, they put all the tubes for the electricity lines. So I'm, uh, I don't know which ones I have to check, but I'm thinking if they're correct. So, so one last time. Yes. Why do Once we need they pour the concrete floor, the fundament, it's not possible to change the locations anymore. Yeah. But that means if we do a mistake now, or if we, we forget something, we will see it at least when it's finished. Yeah, but you know, I'm relaxed about it. You're the one that always still swears of things we forgot in greenhouse. I'm happy. I know when I make a mistake now, I will have to live with it forever. What does that fine. mean? You're a complainer. A complainer? Yes, you're a complainer. Officially, yes. professional complainer? Yes, you always complain, you're German. No, it's about perfectionism. You perfectionism, complain. perfectionism. I'm a perfectionist too. Okay. But you can let go, you mean? Yes. Okay. Happy with the plan Uh I think everything is correct. I don't see a mistake in the plan so we can fill the fundament with concrete. No, not quite yet. Because before we close everything and can no longer change anything, we check the details better in the bathroom again. Hola, Arvin! Since the two bathrooms are mirrored, it's enough to define the positions once on one example. And go. So basically to see if my ideas in the brain work out in the reality, I always need to either draw it or to put things on the spot, like wood and stones, to see if the bathroom works. What are we doing here? I filmed you positioning the bathroom. The reason is simple. Our architect, Salva, asked us the positioning of the sink because we are going to start to pour the concrete and for that he needs to know the final position of the sink because after pouring the concrete on Monday, we are not able to change the positioning. And it's always good when you build a house and you have the structure to check it out what is actually the best position. In our plans, we had the sink there on the right side. So you have like a sliding door opening and you have it on the left side, you have the sink. Um, Salva mentioned that it might be a good idea to have that sink in the middle of the room. Um, actually, we rejected this idea. It's a good idea too. Exactly this idea we have in the original greenhouse in Mint Mosa Myrtle. And now we decided to do it a little different because we want to work with the furniture. Like actually we need like a closet in the middle. So actually it's about to have some more storage room actually for the bathroom. So there, there is, is someone in our shower. Hola. Hola. <laughs> in our shower. <laughs> Estás en la ducha. Sí. sí. 
<laughs> okay, I guess one small thing is still missing before the big batch haul begins. Esther has declared the loft to be her personal baby and therefore fantasize is a bit confused. In our embryo's body, the, the veins and stuff is now, you know, existing. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> They are putting now the tubes in the fundament for water and electricity. Because as soon as the concrete arrives, they will put the concrete on all of the fundament and then nothing can be changed anymore or only with a lot of headaches. So this is the skeleton with all the tubes for water, electricity, and hopefully we did everything right, because if there is a mistake, there is a mistake, and it will last forever, actually. <laughs> it's a time where you're totally focused, you need to be focused. If you lose this, you lose everything. So you will see the, the mistakes you've done forever. Ah, and look, the toilet. What? The toilet is now not as we planned it last time when I was juggling around with wood. Mm. We were listening to our dear architect Salva and he said it's better to have the toilet on the other side. I guess the big white thing there is the toilet. This, this is it's the toilet. There's a lot of things like Pura Vida on construction, but if they start pouring concrete, I've never seen like such a good organization of workflow as they have when they pour concrete. I was like really flashed, you know, <laughs> I was totally surprised. Sometimes you have the impression that nothing happens for days and weeks and months and then the work explodes and somehow everything goes in less than two days. Like pouring the fundament. Perfect organization, perfect process, super effective. I was really impressed. The synonym of Costa Rica is Pura Vida, right? Usually Pura Vida means everything is slow, you, everything takes ages. You have to wait and to wait and to wait. Because it's Pura Vida. Time is meaningless. But it's not always true. Nada de pura vida. Nada. Now that we have literally cast our decisions in concrete, we are treating ourselves to a little honeymoon in Corcovado National Park. Okay, it was actually not a honeymoon, but a vacation and a nice one. For anyone who loves nature, this is an absolute paradise. And after all, that's why we are in Costa Rica. Hello, Anishon. Done. Yes, and honestly, we were only away for seven days, ten days, I don't know exactly. And meanwhile, the construction exploded, like in ten days, boom, <laughs> it was like really boom. We came back and said, what? Wow, the metal structure in our future loft Casa Winter, which is named after my wife Esther, stands after barely 10 days. No, me sientan que le pongo un punto. Si no, nunca voy a plumar. Cara de la quisneta. Sí, pero la empujaste. No. The cool thing is, if they screw it up now, we can... <laughs> the door is not correct. Danger recognized, danger averted. To our great amazement, work has begun on our big house with the working title Shrimp. Shrimp because it was originally shaped like a shrimp tail and has since mutated into an L. We came back and said, what? Come on, it was nothing. The big house was not even started. And of course, without any warning and the opposite of Pura Vida, super, super fast. One important thing if you build in Costa Rica is don't wait that people tell you what will happen, what, what day or which month. Because there, maybe there is a project plan. I don't even want to say there is no project plan. 
but you will never find out what the project plan is. No one would warn you, you will need tiles in three months, so please order them now, because everything happens when it happens. So you have two choices. Either you are on the construction every day, do everything you need to take all the decisions, or you hire a construction manager who does exactly this for you. Otherwise, you're screwed. Your house will never be built or finished. <laughs> Well, I knew that they start, but I was totally not aware how fast. They did it like in speed of light kind of work, like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Why, Why do men that look at constructions or cars always put their hands on their hips? This is our uh, Napoleon complex. You know, what? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so yes, we have the land stacked out, but ultimately we don't know yet how the pool will be set at Casa Shrimp. And again the formula applies, listen to the land. Like this. Three meters twenty towards there. Eh, man, you should really wear different shoes on the construction site. You walk like a bloody flamingo. Mhm, mm flamingo. Long legs, pink skin. <laughs> it's actually on the line of the entrance door, so we always try to have straight lines, which give the house a structure. So it's not a coincidence where a pool starts, where you put walls, where you have like at the end a kitchen, where you put the kitchen island, there is a structure. Structure and architecture give you tranquility. So we decided to align the pool vertically, along the long side of the two bedrooms overlooking the sea. But still, building on rocky terrain remains a challenge. You maybe ask yourself, why this guy is standing there, scratching his face, staring at the wall for like 30 minutes. But I tell you, he has a reason and he will tell it now. Uh, it, well, it's very simple. There's something missing. We missed something. We did something wrong. I was thinking, shit, we missed something. And it took me, I don't know, two or three minutes. And then I realized, Oh fuck, <laughs> we, have no, we have no windows in our wall, <laughs> because they were so fast, they were building so fucking fast. I never expected them to build like in only one day three meter high uh, walls. So we missed to explain them, we want windows, because it was not in the plan. We thought that at that side we are too close to the next house, so we need to protect us a little, and we did a mistake. What was the mistake? Um, we thought that we don't have a view because we didn't know exactly how high the level of the house will be. And we thought, okay, if we have like uh, in our neighborhood, a parking space, we don't want to stare on a, on a parking space. So we started, they were so fast with building the structure that we couldn't really like check out if the view is correct. So yesterday we were aware, fuck, they built already the wall and we saw, wow, the view is amazing. So we need some light in the room. So we, we need to change it. So to make it short, we completely missed the moment of telling them that a window would make a lot of sense here. But this is because no one even told us that they will put up a wall in two days. So we were too late.
This is the mistake we did because we were too slow. More. You can think about a lot of things and we had at the beginning the idea to have like a sliding door there or to have like a big window and then we said no we don't do that because we are too low on the level so we stare on cars and now we stare on the ocean or we have the opportunity so we would miss a huge opportunity to have a nice view an overwhelming view so we need to change it okay as a quick so what we are changing is we are going to have here a huge window like this kind of we are missing an opportunity if we don't open it. We need a window here. We need a window because it's so fantastic to have this view. This is the wall and this is the view you have. So the solution is that they finish the wall up to the ceiling and then they cut out the windows. We do it now because, you know, I don't want to regret a decision we made wrong because now we are on a level of the construction there. We can still change things. In a month, it's impossible, but now it's okay. It's not a big effort. But be aware when you're on construction, that always happens. You have always to go into the details and you could do 100 plans. The real life is here. The real life is not sitting in the office and thinking about plans. As always, if you have changes in the construction, it costs you extra money. Actually, no matter if it's more expensive or not, a change costs money. That's what I learned. So you have to take all the decisions before you start. Very important <laughs> information. <laughs> this is our roof. It looks like paper. It goes through this machine. And in the end, it's like this. A piece of roof. The production of the roof is the coolest thing I ever saw in construction because it's really... It's, it's like not, a wurst. No, I mean there is a paper sausage coming out of a roll. And but it's it not paper. Into, I know, but it looks like paper. Look at the video. I, I know, make. yeah, but it's not paper. Yeah, but it's a paper. It's a, it's a paper sausage? But it's the coolest thing like I ever saw. It's not a sausage, it's a fucking bandnoodle. A bandnoodle? <laughs> a bandnoodle is a tagliatelle, no?